The Book of the Two Aid, Prayers and Festivals Footnote See Glossary, Aid al-Futr and Aid al-Adha and Aid Salat, Prayer, consists of two raka'ah prayer with seven takbirat, Allahu Akbar, in the first raka'ah and five takbirat in the second raka'ah, excluding the takbir of opening the prayer and the takbir of the qiyam standing for the second raka'ah. Chapter on the two Eid and spursing oneself up on them. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Umar bought a silk cloak from the market, took it to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, and said, O Allah's Messenger, take it and adorn yourself with it during the Eid, and when the delegations visit you. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, replied, this dress is for those who have no share in the hereafter. After a long period, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, sent a cloak of silk brocade to Umar. Umar came to Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, with the cloak, and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, you said that this dress was for those who had no share in the hereafter. Yet you have sent me this cloak. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said to him, Sell it and fulfill your needs by it. Chapter on A Display of Spears and Shields on Eid Festival Day Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, came to my house while two girls were singing beside me the songs of Bu'ath, a story about the war between the two tribes of the Ansar, the Khazraj and the Aus before Islam. The Prophet, peace be upon him, lay down and turned his face to the other side. Then Abu Bakr came and spoke to me harshly, saying, Musical instruments of Satan near the Prophet, peace be upon him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, turned his face towards him and said, Leave them. When Abu Bakr became inattentive, I signaled to those girls to go out and they left. It was the day of Eid and the black people were playing with shields and spears. So either I requested the Prophet, peace be upon him, or he asked me whether I would like to see the display. I replied in the affirmative. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, made me stand behind him, and my cheek was touching his cheek, and he was saying, Carry on, O Bani Arfida, till I got tired. The Prophet, peace be upon him, asked me, Are you satisfied? Is this sufficient for you? I replied in the affirmative, and he told me to leave. Chapter on The Legal Way of Celebrations of the Two Eid Festivals for the Islamic World, Muslims Narrated al bara May Allah be pleased with him. I heard the Prophet, peace be upon him, delivering a khutbah, religious talk, saying, The first thing to be done on this day of ours, first day of Eid al-Adha, is to offer salat, prayer, and after returning from salat, prayer, we slaughter our sacrifices in the name of Allah, and whoever does so, he acted according to our sunnah, legal ways. Narrated Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her. Abu Bakr came to my house while two small Ansari girls were singing beside me the stories of the Ansar concerning the day of Bu'ath, and they were not professional singers. Abu Bakr said protestingly, Musical instruments of Satan in the house of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him. It happened on the Eid day, and Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, O oh Abu Bakr, there is a Eid festival for every nation, and this is our Eid festival. Chapter on Eating on the Day of Futr Before Going Out for the Eid al-Futr Prayer Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, never proceeded for the Salat, prayer, on the day of Eid al-Fitr, unless he had eaten some dates. Anas also narrated, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to eat odd numbers of dates. Chapter 1 Eating on the Day of Nahr, 10th of Dhul-Hijjah 
narrated Anas, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Whoever slaughtered his sacrifice before the Salat, Eid prayer, should slaughter again. A man stood up and said, This is the day on which one has desire for meat. And he mentioned something about his neighbors. It seemed that the Prophet, peace be upon him, believed him. Then the same man added, I have a young she-goat which is dearer to me than the meat of two sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, permitted him to slaughter it as a sacrifice. I do not know whether that permission was valid only for him or for others as well. Narrated al bara bin Azib, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, delivered the khutbah, religious talk, after offering a salat, the prayer, on the day of Nahr, and said, Whoever offers the salat, prayer, like us, and slaughters like us, then his nusuk, sacrifice, will be accepted by Allah. And whoever slaughters his sacrifice before the salat, Eid prayer, then he has no nusuk, not done the sacrifice. Abu Burda bin Niyar, the uncle of al bara said, O Allah's Messenger, I have slaughtered my sheep before the salat, Eid prayer, and I thought today as a day of eating and drinking, not alcoholic drinks. And I like that my sheep should be the first to be slaughtered in my house. So I slaughtered my sheep and I took my food before coming to the salat, prayer. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The sheep which you have slaughtered is just mutton, not a nusuk. He, Abu Burda, said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I have a young she-goat which is dearer to me than two sheep. Will that be sufficient as a nusuk on my behalf? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Yes, it will be sufficient for you, but it will not be sufficient as nusuk for anyone else after you. Chapter On To proceed to a musalla, praying place, without a pulpit. Narrated Abu Sa'id al-Khudri, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to proceed to the Musalla, praying place, on the days of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. The first thing to begin with was the Salat, prayer, and after that he would stand in front of the people, and the people would keep sitting in their rows. Then he would preach them, advise them, and give them orders. And after that, if he wished to send an army for an expedition, he would do so. Or if he wanted to give an order, he would do so, and then depart. The people followed this legal way, till I went out with Marwan, the governor of al Madina, for the Salat, prayer, of Eid al-Adha or Eid al-Fitr. When we reached the Musalla, there was a pulpit made by Kathir bin As-Salt, Marwan wanted to get up on that pulpit before a salat. I caught hold of his clothes, but he pulled them and ascended to the pulpit and delivered the khutbah, religious talk, before the salat, prayer. I said to him, By Allah, you have changed the Prophet's legal way. He replied, O oh, Abu Sa'id, gone is that which you know. I said, By Allah, what I know is better than what I do not know. Marwan said, People do not sit to listen to our khutbah after a salat, prayer. So I delivered the khutbah before a salat, prayer. Chapter On Walking and Riding for the Eid Prayer The Eid prayer is offered before delivering the khutbah, religious talk, and there is no adhan or iqama for it. Narrated Abdullah bin Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, used to offer a salat, the prayer, of Eid al-Adha and Eid al-Fitr, and then deliver the khutbah, religious talk, after a salat. Narrated Ibn Juraj, Ata said, Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them, said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, went out on the day of Eid al-Fitr and offered a salat, the prayer, before delivering the khutbah, religious talk. Narrated Ata that during the early days of Ibn Zubayr, Ibn Abbas had sent a message to him telling him that the Adam for the Eid prayer was never pronounced in the lifetime of Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, 
and the khutbah, religious talk, used to be delivered after a salat, the prayer. Narrated Ata, Ibn Abbas and Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him, said, There was no adhan for a salat, prayer of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha. Narrated Ata, I heard Jabir bin Abdullah saying, The Prophet, peace be upon him, stood up and started with a salat, the prayer of Eid, and after it he delivered the khutbah, religious talk. When the Prophet of Allah, peace be upon him, finished the khutbah, religious talk, he went to the women and preached them, while he was leaning on Bilal's hand. Bilal was spreading his garment, and the ladies were putting alms in it. I said to Ata, Do you think it is incumbent upon an imam to go to the women and preach them after finishing the salat and khutbah? Ata said, No doubt it is incumbent on imam to do so. And why should they not do so? Chapter 1 The khutbah, religious talk, should be delivered after the Eid prayer. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. I offered the Eid prayer with Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman, may Allah be pleased with them. And all of them offered Salat, prayer, before delivering the khutbah, religious talk. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr, and Umar, may Allah be pleased with them, used to offer the Salatul Aidain the two Eid prayers, before delivering the khutbah, religious talk. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, offered a two rak'ah salat, prayer, on the day of Eid al-Fitr, and he did not offer any salat before or after it. Then he went towards women along with Bilal, and ordered them to give alms, and so they started giving their earrings and necklaces in charity. Narrated al bara bin Azib, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The first thing we do on this day of ours is to offer salat, then deliver the khutbah, religious talk, and then return to slaughter the sacrifice. So anyone who does so, he acted according to our sunnah, legal way, and whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before a salat, prayer, it was just meat which he presented to his family and would not be considered as nusuk. A person from the Ansar named Abu Burda bin Niyar said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I slaughtered the nusuk before a salat, but I have a young she-goat which is better than an older sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Sacrifice it in lieu of the first, but it will not be sufficient as a sacrifice for anybody else after you. Chapter 1 It is disliked to carry arms on Eid and in the Haram, Sanctuary. And Al-Hasan said, In the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, it was forbidden to carry arms on the day of Eid, except if there was fear from the enemy. Narrated Sa'id bin Jubair May Allah be pleased with him. I was with Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him. When a spearhead pierced the sole of his foot, and his foot stuck to the paddle of the saddle, and I got down and pulled his foot out, and that happened in Mina. Al-Hajjaj got the news and came to inquire about his health and said, Alas, if we could only know the man who wounded you. Ibn Umar said, you are the one who wounded me. Al-Hajjaj said, How is that? Ibn Umar said, You have allowed the arms to be carried on a day which nobody used to carry them, and you allowed the arms to be carried in the Haram, Sanctuary, while it was forbidden to carry arms in the Haram, Sanctuary. Narrated Sa'id bin Amr bin Sa'id bin Al-Asi Al-Hajjaj went to Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with him, while I was present there. Al-Hajjaj asked Ibn Umar, How are you? Ibn Umar replied, I am all right. Al-Hajjaj asked, Who wounded you? Ibn Umar replied, 
The person who allowed arms to be carried on the day on which it was forbidden to carry them. He meant Al-Hajjaj. Chapter on To offer the Eid prayer early. Abdullah bin Busr said, We used to finish the Eid prayer in the lifetime of the Prophet, peace be upon him, at the time of Tasbih, Duha or Ishraq prayer, i.e. after sunrise. Narrated al bara may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, delivered the khutbah, religious talk, on the day of Nahr, Eid al-Adha, and said, The first thing we do on this day of ours is to offer the prayer, then deliver the khutbah, religious talk, and then return to slaughter our sacrifices. So anyone who does so, he acted according to our sunnah, legal ways. And whoever slaughtered before a salat, the prayer, then it was just meat that he offered to his family and would not be considered as a sacrifice in any way. My uncle Abu Burda bin Nayyar got up and said, O oh Allah's Messenger, I slaughtered the sacrifice before the salat, prayer, but I have a young she goat which is better than an older sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Slaughter it in lieu of the first, and such a goat will not be considered as a sacrifice for anybody else after you. Chapter on Superiority of Doing Good Deeds on the Days of Tashriq, 11th, 12th, 13th of Dhul Hijjah. Ibn Abbas said, Remember Allah during the well known days, i.e., the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah and also the fixed number of appointed days, i.e. the days of Tashriq. Ibn Umar and Abu Huraira used to go out to the market saying takbir during the first ten days of Dhul Hijjah, and the people would say takbir after their takbirs. Muhammad bin Ali used to say takbir after Nawafil. Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, no good deeds done on the other days are superior to those done on these first ten days of Dhul Hijjah. Then some companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Not even jihad? He replied, Not even jihad, except that of a man who does it by putting himself and his property in danger for Allah's sake, i.e. with his life and property, and does not return with any of these things i.e. is martyred. Chapter on To say takbir on the days of Mina and while proceeding to Arafat. Omar, may Allah be pleased with him, during his stay at Mina, used to say takbir in his tent with such a loud voice that the people in the mosque would hear it and they too would start saying takbir and the people in the market too would do the same. And then the whole Mina would quiver with takbir. During those days, Ibn Umar used to say takbir at Mina and after the compulsory salat, prayers, and also while in bed in his tent, while sitting, and while walking. He used to do so during all those days. Maymuna used to say takbir on the day of Nahr. The women used to say takbir behind Aban bin Uthman and Omar bin Abdul Aziz, along with the men in the mosque during the nights of Tashriq. Narrated Muhammad bin Abi Bakr al thaqafi While we were going from Mina to Arafat, I asked Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him, about Talbiya. How did you use to say Talbiya in the company of the Prophet, peace be upon him? Anas said, People used to say talbiya, and their saying was not objected to. And they used to say takbir, and that was not objected to either. Narrated Umm Atiyah, may Allah be pleased with her. We used to be ordered to come out on the day of Eid, and even bring out the virgin girls and menstruating women from their houses, so that they might stand behind the men and say takbir along with them and invoke Allah along with them and hope for the blessings of that day and for purification from sins. Chapter on As-Salat, the prayers, 
On the day of Eid, using harba, a small spear, as a sutra. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. On the day of Eid al-Fitr and Eid al-Adha, a spear used to be planted in front of the Prophet, peace be upon him, as a sutra for the salat, prayer, and then he would offer salat, prayer. Chapter on To put the anaza, spear-headed stick, or harba in the front of the imam on Eid day. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to proceed to the musalla, and Anaza used to be carried before him and planted in the musalla in front of him as a sutra, and he would offer salat, prayer, facing it. Chapter 1 The Coming Out of Ladies and Menstruating Women to the Musalla Narrated Muhammad, Umm Atiyah, may Allah be pleased with her, said, Our Prophet, peace be upon him, ordered us to come out on Eid day, with the mature girls and the virgins staying in seclusion. Hafsa narrated the above-mentioned hadith and added, The mature girls or virgins staying in seclusion, but the menstruating women had to keep away from the musalla. Chapter 1 The Attendance of Boys at Musalla Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. I, in my boyhood, went out with the Prophet, peace be upon him, on the day of Eid al-Fitr or Eid al-Adha. The Prophet, peace be upon him, offered salat, prayers, and then delivered the khutbah, religious talk, and then went towards the women, preached and advised them, and ordered them to give alms. Chapter 1 the Imam faces the people while delivering the khutbah, religious talk, of Eid. Abu Sa'id said, The Prophet, peace be upon him, stood facing the people. Narrated Al-Bara, may Allah be pleased with him. The Prophet, peace be upon him, went towards Al-Baqiyah, the graveyard at al Madina, on the day of Eid al-Adha, and offered a two rak'ah salat, prayer, of Eid al-Adha, and then faced us and said, on this day of ours, our first act of worship is to offer the salat, prayer, then deliver the khutbah, religious talk, and then return and slaughter the sacrifices. And whoever does this, concords with our sunnah, legal way. And whoever slaughtered his sacrifice before that, i.e. before the salat, prayer, then that was a thing which he prepared earlier for his family and it would not be considered as a nusuk, sacrifice. A man stood up and said, O Allah's Messenger, I slaughtered the animal before the salat, prayer, but I have a young she-goat which is better than an older sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said to him, Slaughter it, but a similar sacrifice will not be sufficient for anybody else after you. Chapter 1 the Mark of the Musalla Narrated Abdurrahman bin Abis, Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them, was asked whether he had joined the Prophet, peace be upon him, in the Eid prayer. He said, Yes, and I could not have joined him had I not been young. The Prophet, peace be upon him, came out till he reached the mark which was near the house of Kathir bin Assalt, offered the Salat, prayer, delivered the Khutbah, religious talk, and then went towards the women. Bilal was accompanying him. He, peace be upon him, preached them, advised them, and ordered them to give alms. I saw the women putting their ornaments with their outstretched hands into Bilal's garment. Then the Prophet, peace be upon him, along with Bilal, returned home. Chapter 1 The Preaching to the Women by the Imam on the Eid Day Narrated Ibn Juraj, Ata told me that he heard Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with them, saying, The Prophet, peace be upon him, stood up to offer the Salat, prayer, of Eid al-Fitr. He first offered the Salat, prayer, and then delivered the Khutbah, religious talk. After finishing it, he got down from the pulpit and went towards the women and advised them while he was leaning on Bilal's hand. Bilal was spreading out his garment while the women were putting their alms. 
I asked Ata whether it was the zakat of the day of Fitr. He said, no, it was just alms given at that time. Some lady put her finger ring and the others would do the same. I said to Ata, do you think that it is incumbent upon the imam to give advice to the women on Eid day? He said, no doubt, it is incumbent upon the imam to do so. And why should they not do so? Narrated Ibn Abbas, may Allah be pleased with them. I attended with the Prophet, peace be upon him, Abu Bakr, Umar, and Uthman, may Allah be pleased with them, the Eid al-Futr prayers. They used to offer the Salat, prayer, before the Khutbah, and then deliver the Khutbah afterwards. Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, came out for the Eid prayer, as if I were just observing him waving to the people to sit down. He, then accompanied by Bilal, came crossing the rows till he reached the women. He recited the following verse, O Prophet, when believing women come to you to give bay'ah, pledge to you. To the end of the verse. Quran chapter 60 verse 12 After finishing the recitation, he, peace be upon him, said, O ladies, are you fulfilling your covenant? None except one woman said, Yes. Hassan did not know who was that woman. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Then give alms. Bilal spread his garment and said, Keep on giving alms. Let my mother and father sacrifice their lives for you, ladies. So the ladies kept on putting their fetches, big rings, and other kinds of rings in Bilal's garment. Abdul Razak said, Fetch is a big ring which was used to be worn in the pre-Islamic period of ignorance. Chapter 1 If a woman has no veal to use for Eid Narrated Ayyub, Hafsa bin Tisirin, said, On Eid, we used to forbid our girls to go out for Salatul Eid, Eid prayer. A lady came and stayed at the palace of Bani Khalif, and I went to her. She said, The husband of my sister took part in twelve holy battles along with the Prophet, peace be upon him, and my sister was with her husband in six of them. My sister said that they used to nurse the sick and treat the wounded. Once she asked, O oh Allah's Messenger, if a woman has no veal, is there any harm if she does not come out on Eid day? The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, her companion should let her share her veal with her, and the woman should participate in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers. Hafsa added, When Ummu Atiyah came, I went to her and asked her, Did you hear anything about such and such a thing? Ummu Atiyah said, Yes, let my father be sacrificed for the Prophet, peace be upon him. And whenever she mentioned the name of the Prophet, peace be upon him, she always used to say, Let my father be sacrificed for him. He said, Virgin mature girls staying often screened. Or said, Mature girls and virgins staying often screened. Ayub is not sure as to which was the word used. And menstruating women should come out on the Eid day but the menstruating women should keep away from the musalla, and all the women should participate in the good deeds and in the religious gatherings of the believers. Hafsa said, On that I said to Ummu Atiyah, Also those who are menstruating? Ummu Atiyah replied, Yes, do they not present themselves at Arafat and elsewhere? Chapter 1 Menstruating women should keep away from the musalla. Narrated Ummu Atiyah, may Allah be pleased with her. We were ordered to go out for Eid and also to take along with us the menstruating women, mature girls and virgins staying in seclusion. Ibn Aoun said, or mature virgins staying in seclusion. The menstruating women could present themselves at the religious gathering and invocation of Muslims, but should keep away from their musallah. Chapter 1 An-Nahr 
and al-dabh, to slaughter animals as offerings, at the musalla, praying place, on the day of Nahr. Footnote 1. An-Nahr literally means slaughtering of the camels only and is done by cutting the carotid arteries at the root of the camel's neck. Footnote 2. Al-Dabh means slaughtering of the animals other than camels, example, sheep, cow, goat, etc., and is done by cutting the carotid and jugular blood vessels at the upper part of the neck and not at its root. Narrated Ibn Umar, may Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, used to nahr or dabh, slaughter sacrifices, at the musalla on Eid al-Adha. Chapter 1 the talk of the Imam and if the Imam is asked about something while he is delivering the khutbah, religious talk. Narrated al bara bin Azib, may Allah be pleased with them. On the day of Nahr, Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, delivered the khutbah, religious talk, after the salat, Eid prayer, and said, Whoever offered salat, prayer, like us, and slaughtered the sacrifice like we did, then he acted according to our nusuk, followed the right way. And whoever slaughtered the sacrifice before the salat, prayer, then that was just mutton, i.e. not done his sacrifice. Abu Burda bin Nayyar stood up and said, O Allah's Messenger, by Allah, I slaughtered my sacrifice before I came out for a salat, i.e. prayer, and thought that today was the day of eating and drinking, non-alcoholic drinks. And so I made haste in slaughtering and ate, and also fed my family and neighbors. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, said, That was just mutton, not a sacrifice. Then Abu Burda said, I have a young she-goat, and no doubt it is better than two sheep. Will that be sufficient as a sacrifice for me? The Prophet, peace be upon him, replied, Yes, but it will not be sufficient for anyone else as a sacrifice after you. Narrated Anas bin Malik, may Allah be pleased with him. Allah's Messenger, peace be upon him, offered the Salat, prayer, on the day of Nahr, and then delivered the Khutbah, religious talk, and ordered that whoever had slaughtered his sacrifice before the Salat, prayer, should repeat it i.e. should slaughter another sacrifice. Then a person from the Ansar stood up and said, O Allah's Messenger, because of my neighbors, he described them as being very needy or poor. I slaughtered the sacrifice before the Salat, prayer. I have a young she-goat, which, in my opinion, is better than two sheep. The Prophet, peace be upon him, gave him the permission for slaughtering it as a sacrifice. Narrated Jundab, may Allah be pleased with him. On the day of Nahr, the Prophet, peace be upon him, offered the Salat, prayer, and delivered the khutbah, religious talk, and then slaughtered the sacrifice and said, Anybody who slaughtered his sacrifice before the Salat, prayer, should slaughter another animal in lieu of it. And the one who has not yet slaughtered should slaughter the sacrifice, mentioning Allah's name on it. Chapter 1 Whoever returned after offering the Eid prayer on the day of Eid threw a way different from that by which he went. Narrated Jabir bin Abdullah, may Allah be pleased with him. On the day of Eid, the Prophet, peace be upon him, used to return after offering the Eid prayer threw a way different from that by which he went. Chapter 1 Whoever missed the Salatul Eid, Eid prayer, should offer two raka prayer. And similarly, the women and those who are at home and in the villages should do so, as is confirmed by the statement of the Prophet, peace be upon him, O Muslims, this is our Eid. At az Anas bin Malik ordered his slave Ibn Abi Ghaniya to collect his, Anas's, family and offspring. Anas led a salat, prayer, similar to that offered by the people of any town, 
and recited takbir similar to theirs. Ikrimah said, The villagers should gather on the day of Eid and offer two rak'ah, as the imam does. Ata said, Whoever misses the Salatul Eid, Eid prayer, should offer two rak'ah prayer. Narrated Urwa on the authority of Aisha, may Allah be pleased with them. On the days of Mina, 11th, 12th, and 13th of Dhul Hijjah, Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, came to her while two young girls were beating the tambourine and the Prophet, peace be upon him, was lying covered with his clothes. Abu Bakr, may Allah be pleased with him, scolded them, and the Prophet, peace be upon him, uncovered his face and said to Abu Bakr, Leave them, for these days are the days of Eid and the days of Mina. Aisha, may Allah be pleased with her, further said, Once the Prophet, peace be upon him, was screening me, and I was watching the display of Ethiopians in the mosque, and Omar scolded them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, said, Leave them. O Bani Arfida, carry on, you are safe, protected. Chapter 1 The Offering of Salat, Prayer, Before or After the Eid Prayer Ibn Abbas disliked to offer Salat, Prayer, Before Eid Prayer Narrated Ibn Abbas, May Allah be pleased with them. The Prophet, peace be upon him, went out and offered a two rak'ah salat, prayer, i.e. Eid prayer, on the day of Fitr, and did not offer any other salat, prayer, before or after it, and at that time, Bilal was accompanying him.